Hey guys, welcome back to your Fusion 360 training with Aaron. Uh, in our second class today, guys, we're gonna be doing this rebate joint here. You can see the rebate joint has a little cutaway in it, which allows the piece of timber to slip in. Now a rebate joint is stronger than a butt joint because it actually has two faces of contact. So guys, make sure that you're in your folder that you created before. Okay, so you can see here, there's our original folder, there's that, so our original project and our original folder we created. We wanna put our new joint in there as well. So you wanna click the positive tab here for a new design, click save, and you're gonna call this rebate joint. Click save. I can check that it's gone into that folder now by opening it here and I can see it populating here and it's going up to the cloud. Alrighty. Now, before we get started here, guys, too, uh, too involved, we're gonna create some parameters. You need to click on the Modify tab, the drop down, and come all the way down here to Change Parameters. Click the Positive tab here, and you're gonna type in Length with a capital L, and in Expression, you want 125, and click OK. We're gonna add another one now, and this will be called Width. And the width of the timber, as you know, is 42 millimeters. And click OK. Now we're gonna create another one, and this is called thickness. And this one here is gonna be 19 millimeters. Now, this may be a bit of a pain to set up at the start, but as you get going, you'll find it very useful and it's really quick to model stuff. Click OK. Righto, so here we go. We're gonna click a new component. Once again, deselect there and make sure you're picking the parent file at every stage. We're gonna call this timber one, click OK. We're gonna click this create a sketch, select the front face one more time. Remember the shortcut key, to key for rectangle is R, okay? So R for rectangle, snap it at the center point, drag to the left and up. Now do not click, remember. You're gonna type in here, width wi see how width comes up i press enter then i tab use the tab key to tab across this one will be length and you see length if i push the l key once the length comes up i press enter once press the tab key press enter now you can see here means the fx means that we've added that perimeter that we've created down in here before guys all right so now E for extrude, remember if you don't know where extrude lives, it lives in create and you see the shortcut key is E. Click that face. Now we're not gonna type in 19, we're gonna type in thickness, okay, enter. Okay, here we go. So you can see it was so much easier now that once I set those parameters and I knew the size of my timber, we're ready to go. Now here guys, we need to click this face now Okay, we're gonna press R for rectangle, and I'm just gonna drag mine over and scroll in a little bit so you can see. You can see my drawing, my mouse has changed to the rectangle icon, it's ready to draw. I'm gonna snap it from the center there, drag up. Now I'm not gonna terminate. This one here will be width, enter, tab. This one here will be thickness, enter, tab, enter. We're gonna press E for extrude, guys click on that face and view in an isometric view. Now, if I go out, it's gonna create a, a join, it's gonna create some more timber on it, but I wanna go backwards in, and you'll see over here it changes to cut. Now, instead of typing in the value, guys, you're gonna do this. You're gonna press the negative key once, you're gonna type in thickness, then divided by, so it's the slash two, press enter. Now, how simple is that? We've used the CAD to, to do its own uh, mathematics, its uh, numeracy to work it out for us. Now, we can inspect this. We click the, ins click the inspect tool, I can click on that, and I can see it's 19 millimeters. If I use the inspect tool, I can click on that length, I can see it's 42. And to check the half the thickness, guys, I clicked on that line, 9.5. We know that if it was 20, half of 20 would be 10, hence, 19, half of 19 is 9.5. Click close. Righto, let's start our second component. Click on new component, deselect that, pick the parent file, and double click in there and type in timber 
to enter we're going to create a sketch and we're going to click that face there all right r for rectangle snap it from the center and drag up now you're going to type in here this will be thickness enter tab this one will be width enter tab e for extrude okay e for extrude click that rectangle that you just drew and remember we're going to be length here enter and here we have it there's our joint now click save guys remember to save your work all the time come up to the top level here activate it and let's put some um, appearance on this so I'm going to use oak for my one here I'm going to drag that on I'm going to use um, pine glossy for this one here you can choose your own if you want now remember guys I haven't put a joint on this yet I can still move them okay so here we go I'm going to click up here drop down as built joint continue I'm going to pick this one and that one it's a rigid joint click OK click Save and there we have it guys, you have your butt joint and your rebate joint. And uh, good work. Remember to show your instructor upon completion. And I'll see you on the next little episode of Fusion 360.